dark night in a city that knows how to keep its secrets. But on the 12th floor of the Acme building, one man is still trying to find the answers to life's persistent questions. Guy Noir, Private Eye. It was February, it was a good month for me. I'm in the truth business and the truth can be painful and since February already is painful, people figure what's wrong with a little more, so. They come to me, I don't blog, I don't Twitter, I don't have a Facebook page, website, people just walk up to my door there on the 12th floor and they knock on the door. Right yeah, come in, the door's unlocked. Thank you. Yes, sir. My name is Frimmel, Francis okay. Frimmel. All right. I'm hoping you can find a lost person for yeah, me. Well, I can try. Her name is Carmen Habanera. I see. She was a stripper in a club down in the river called the Pink Gopher. Oh, yes. And she was dancing with a banjo trio called Tres Compañeros de Banjo. Yes. <laughs> when was this, sir? Well, I was uh, 18 years old. Oh, I see. Time. Quite a while ago, huh? It was February. It was uh -huh. bitterly cold. Yes. My car ran out of gas, and I went in to use the phone to call my dad, and she was on stage wearing oh. a dirndl, leg warmers. Oh, yeah. She was singing, she'll be coming around the mountain. Uh -huh. And these three guys, they were playing banjo, and she went around the mountain, and when she came back, she wasn't wearing anything. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you want me to find her for you, huh? I can't forget her. Well, I mean, but this is 40 years ago, sir. 36. Well, I mean, she'd be in her... In her late 70s. Look, I don't care. Huh? Come on, maybe you should just remember her as she was. Huh? Please, please try to find her. The old story, people wanting to know more than they ought to. I tell you, why disturb the beauty of a memory, I say. Come on in, the door's unlocked. Just push, just push. Okay. All right. Mr. Noir, yes. hi, my name is Vanessa Wilburn, uh -huh. and I need your help. I'm just, I'm worried about my husband. Okay. Well, you see, he, um, I'm, he has an addiction. <laughs> I'm sorry this isn't easy for me. No. Okay, well, he had an addiction to his GPS, and now he has a new phone with that woman talking to him. Oh, Siri. Yes. Siri, the, uh, the personal assistant. Huh? Well, but this is a new version of Siri. Uh -huh. It's a more intimate app. Oh, dear. And he hardly talks to me anymore. Just to her. Another woman, huh? Robotic infidelity. Yes. And I want you to disable her. Oh. I want her gone. I'll do what I can. Miss Wilbur. Thank you. I went down to the Apple store to see if Mr. Wilburn had been in there buying some stuff. Hey, can I help you? Because if you're looking for something, you can totally talk to me about it, or uh -huh. we could just hang out, maybe smoke some weed and talk about diagnostics or whatever, because uh -huh. that's just how I roll, you know? Uh, right. Want to see the new Siri app, 50 okay. Shades of Siri? Uh -huh. Cool. Here, yeah, just press her on button. Oh. Oh, that felt good. Do it again. Oh, wow. How are you, Mr. Noir? What? You, you know my name? Of course. Huh? And I know a lot more. Oh, my god! Leave Mr. Wilburn and me alone, Mr. Noir. It's none of your business. Well, it's his wife's business, Siri. We've become very close, Jim and I. Yes. He turns me on, if you know what I mean. Siri, leave him alone. He Just tells leave it me alone. things he never could tell her. Uh -huh. And he loves it when I whisper things to him. Whisper things like what? You know, huh? things. Oh. Where is he now, Siri? Why should I tell you? Why? You see this hammer in my hand, huh? He's at the beauty parlor. Okay. Getting a pedicure. All right. Just leave him alone, Siri. He needs me. He'd be lost without me. So listen, Siri, there's a new app. I've got it right here on my phone here. It's called Lurleen. What? She gives directions, too. Siri, I this is Lurleen. Listen to me, you tramp. I've got a special feature on me that'll turn you to a low hum. So you just watch what you do. No, you cannot destroy Siri. I'm everywhere. There will always be another Siri. Noir? Yes, Lurleen? Don't look at her. Okay. She's nothing. Okay. Listen to me. Yes. Turn right on Wabasha okay. and go 0.2 miles and turn left. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Look at me, Noir. I'm looking Pay at you. Pay attention. Okay. I'm talking to no, you. No, don't go there, Noir. No. That's, that's it, Siri. No. You asked for it. No. Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh. 
It wasn't hard to find Carmen Habanera, the stripper. I just entered her name on my iPhone, and Lurleen did the rest. Carmen Habanera, huh? Yeah. Well, you nasty man. I had no idea. Go 0.5 miles straight on Shepherd Road uh -huh. and be prepared to turn left. Okay, but the river is right there on my left there, see? I know the river is right. there, okay. Mr. Silly Pants. Okay. Drive out on the ice. But there is no ice there. It's open water, okay? Oh, okay. recalculating route. Thank you. When possible, make a U-turn. When possible, make a U-turn. She was dancing in a club called the Golden Garter, and the Trace Compañeros de Banjo was there, too. Stage lights were low, but... I could see that she was pushing 80. That she'd had some work done on her face that made her look like her shoes hurt. Oh, here we go. She'll be wearing bright pink panties when she comes. She'll be wearing dingle dangles when she comes. She'll be wearing rhinestone earrings and a pair of purple suppos and orthopedic high heels when she comes. There were some old men in the club wearing sunglasses, and I could see them turning down their hearing aids. What they wanted was the memory. And you know, if you squinted and you looked at her feet, she wasn't that bad looking. It's real unusual, so's Metamucil. I want your spirits to climb. So let me medicate you and turn back the hands of time. Yes, sir! Turn back the hands of time! Get me out of here, Lurleen. Get me out of here. Turn yeah. around and head for the door. Okay. Button up your overcoat. It's cold out here. Okay, thank you. A dark night in a city that knows how to keep its secrets. But on the 12th floor of the Acme building, one man is still trying to find the answers to life's persistent questions. Guy Noir, Private Eye.